All right, it's news day, y'all. I'm Ravel. Welcome to Geek Out of Place. Going to try things a little bit differently today. So let's see what we got today. A couple things came across my my news. Some Xbox news. Xbox One, pardon me, will get its big Windows 10 update November 12th. Today is the third, so nine days. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's been two years now since the Xbox One has come out. They've had incremental changes, but this one is totally revamping it. It's getting Windows 10 proper. Along with that, on the 9th of November, Microsoft will announce over 100 Xbox 360 titles that will be backwards compatible with the Xbox One now. I am less excited about it, but there are some games I still I would like to keep playing, but not have to pull out my old 360 just to play for that. Plus, my wife is taking my 360, and she's using it for TV in the bedroom. This Friday, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 comes out. Now, I'm not the biggest Call of Duty fan. I really enjoy the multiplayer, but I'm not that great. I do, however, love the Black Ops series. It is my favorite Call of Duty series. I liked Ghost's multiplayer, didn't care for the story, and I just I did not care for Advanced Warfare, and I really did not like what they did with the multiplayer aspect of it. I feel like they took a lot away from Ghost. That made it less enjoyable for me, but I am so looking forward to Black Ops 3 this Friday. Not to mention what they did with the campaign, which, I mean, if they've done anything different, it should be an improvement, in my opinion. And the multiplayer looks fun. Plus, if you pre-order, you get the Nuketown map. Which I, though, okay, I wish it was included with the base set of maps. And the zombie mode looks really cool. If you haven't seen the trailer for it, I'll, I'll put it up here. They've got Jeff Goldblum, Ron Perlman, Heather Graham, and then some guy I don't know. I'll, I'll put his name down here. It, I am looking forward to this more than I have any other Call of Duty in a long time. Probably since Black Ops 2. Well, this Friday, I'll be playing it. Hit me up. If you guys don't know, I, I play on Xbox. Xbox Live, my gamer tag is Ravel Dom Lopez. I am not very original with my names. I've got a lot of Fallout 4 news. So if you don't know, Fallout 4 comes out next Tuesday, November... November 10th. Fallout 4 comes out November 10th, next Tuesday. And I'm pumped. I can't wait. Leading up to that, there have been a lot of leaks online. Kotaku has picked up quite a few of those. And I'll put some links down below about the articles that they have, but there's a lot of spoilers, a lot of screenshots. Some guy who got a copy of it actually took the time to walk across the entire Commonwealth map. If that interests you, check it out. I'm honestly trying to stay away from it just so I can experience the game fresh. I'm a huge Bethesda fan and I can't freaking wait. If you guys subscribe to Game Informer, the magazine, they have an awesome article interviewing some of the developers for Fallout 4. And they talk a lot about what went to making making the game. Apparently, development for Fallout 4 started by trying to port the Elder Scrolls Skyrim to the Xbox One. They also talked a bit about how the gunplay in Fallout 4 was modeled after Destiny's gunplay and that's that makes me happy because I love the gunplay in Destiny. I'll put a link to a few articles that talk about it some. A couple more things about Fallout. If you ordered the Fallout for Pip-Boy edition I've seen a few people getting their Pip-Boy arm smartphone gauntlet things. I didn't get one because I don't want to spend that much money. Along with it though the companion app the Pip-Boy app for smartphones also came out. And on top of being the cool interface for your Pip-Boy, it acts as a companion app for the game. You can check your stats, you can check your inventory on your character, and play a few mini-games on it. Last but not least, Bethesda has partnered with Jones Soda Company to make a Nuka-Cola physical soft drink. They're selling it at Target right now to promote Fallout 4. I have not yet been to Target in a little while, so I haven't picked up a pack, but... I definitely will before Fallout 4 comes out, and I will be drinking it by the gallons. I hope it tastes good. Jones Soda has a reputation for making weird sodas, but I'll buy it. 
In other news that's not Fallout 4 related, Halo 5 came out, and I have for my review up in a few videos of me playing it. Also, one of me ripping apart the story of it. Still love the game though, I'm still playing it a lot. <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun game. But, besides that, if you guys are as into it as I am, or even more so, the Halo Channel app, well, recently for Halo 5, that got updated to include stat tracking of your Spartan character in Arena and Warzone. I put it on my tablet. Every single device I own right now is dead. So I can't show you guys any of this. But I'll have screenshots and links below, as usual. I love Metal Gear Solid 5. It is a fantastic game. Apparently I'm not the only one. In the first month it was out, it sold 5 million copies. So good on those guys. Konami, good on ya. Last but not least, I found a neat statistic. Pew, PEW Research Center, released some data after a few surveys on technology device ownership over the past year. Two numbers caught my attention. Over the past four years, video game console ownership has not changed. The percentage of households still has remained the same. About 40% of adults in America own a video game console of some sort. The interesting thing though is 42% of the people who answer the question if you own a video game console are women compared to 37% men. So according to this research survey, there are more female console owners than men. So that's cool. That's awesome. Anyways, that's all I have. So I've been sick this past week and really busy, but I've got a few videos that I put up one of these days, I'm going to get this news video out on Sunday like I want to. Guys, like, subscribe, leave some comments. I'm going to have a Q&A video coming out soon, too. So thanks so much, guys. I'm Ravel, and I'm a geek out of place.